Alfred, contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data from my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Well, if it isn't the King's thug himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery. One you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline, and you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. Hmm, Black Mask's not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? With the jammer offline, I can travel here with the Batwing. Those relays are part of a distributed security system. I wonder what they're protecting. That must be where Enigma set up shop. I need to pay him a visit. I see you've regained control of the Batwing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza, then. That's the plan. But then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. I'm running out of time. I should head for Jezebel Plaza. proletariat. 
The challenge is an old one, O oh, democratic lords of the autocratic republic. We have been dreaming of freedom. We have talked of liberty. We have aspired to a better world. And you jailed us. You clubbed us. You deported us. You murdered us whenever you could. Now that the great war waged to replenish your purses and build a pedestal for your saints is over. Nothing better can you do to protect your stolen millions and your usurped fame than to direct all the power of the murderous institutions you created for your exclusive defense against the working multitudes rising to a more human conception of life. The jails, the dungeons you reared to bury all protesting voices are now replenished with languishing conscientious workers and never satisfied, you increase their number every day. It is history of yesterday that your gunmen were shooting and murdering unarmed masses by the wholesale. It has been the history of every day in your regime. And now all prospects are even worse. Do not expect us to sit down and pray and cry. We accept your challenges and mean to stick to our war duties. We know that all you do is for your defense as a class. We also know that the proletariat has the same right to protect itself. Since their press has been suffocated, their mouths muzzled, we mean to speak for them the voice of dynamite through the mouth of guns. Do not say we are acting cowardly because we keep hiding. Do not say it is abominable. It is war, class war, and you were the first to wage it under cover of the powerful institutions you call order in the darkness of your laws behind the guns of your boneheaded slave. No liberty to you except but yours. The working people also have a right to freedom, and their rights, our own rights, we have set our minds to protect at any price. We are not many, perhaps more than you dream of, but are all determined to fight to the last till a man remains buried in your bastilles till a hostage of the working class is left to the tortures of your police system and will never rest until your fall is complete and the laboring masses have taken possession of all that rightly belongs to them there will be bloodshed we will not dodge there will have to be murder we will kill because it is necessary there will have to be destruction we will destroy to rid the world of your tyrannical institutions we are ready to do anything and everything to suppress the capitalist class, just as you are doing anything and everything to suppress the proletarian revolution. Our mutual position is pretty clear. What has been done by us so far is only a warning that there are friends of popular liberty still living. Only now we are getting into the fight. You will have a chance to see what liberty-loving people can do. Do not seek to believe that we are the Germans or the devil's paid agents. You know well we are class-conscious men with strong determination and no vulgar liability. And never hope that your cops and your hounds will ever succeed in ridding the country of the anarchist germ that pulses in our veins. We know how we stand with you and know how to take care of ourselves. Besides, you will never get all of us, and we multiply nowadays. Just wait and resign to your fate, since privilege and riches have turned your heads. Long live social revolution! down with tyranny the pamphlet was signed the anarchist fighters there's a lot in the flyer to digest and discuss but i know a lot of you out there can sympathize with the ideas expressed inside we've tried working within the political machine but the deck is stacked against us the system is not designed to be an engine for change it's more like a vacuum pulling in all our grievances and then dumping them into the trash if we want to be heard we need to speak out and words alone aren't going to cut it this is Anarchy, and you're listening to Free Wave, radio of the people, for the people. I thought I'd kick things off tonight with a reading from Plain Words. But first, a little background for those of you who haven't. <laughs> Requesting available units to investigate multiple code fours at the shipyard. Two reports of suspect matching description of the Batman attacking dock workers. Unit 1-3, copy. Any... <laughs> how a little charity for those in need really goes a long way. The residents of the former Blackfire Shelter for the Homeless were in for a holiday treat this afternoon when they found piles of shoeboxes individually gift-wrapped under their tree in the shelter lobby. Apparently moved by the holiday spirit, Gotham's favorite billionaire Bruce Wayne donated 10,000 pairs of shoes to the Homeless Foundation, saying, quote, everyone deserves the means to pull themselves up by their own bootstraps. Wayne's generous words have been interpreted as both sentimental and ironic, as it is well known that the extravagant philanthropist came upon his own wealth through his family's inheritance. A 
Are your party crackers bland? Do your breakfast pancakes need an extra bit of sweet flavor? Do you like the taste of fruit? Try my product, KJ's Fruit Preserves. My jams are legendary with extra large chunks of sugary fruit bits right there in the jar. You can find all the flavors of my home canned fruit preserves at your local supermarket right by the jellies. Remember, KJ's Sweet Fruit Preserves. Now that's good jelly. set. If I can collect enough of these, I should be able to read the file. That looks like the crime in progress the GCP dispatcher just mentioned. I could go investigate, perhaps stop the crime, but I also need to get to the arms deal at Jezebel Plaza. I should use my grapnel accelerator. I hope you'll try to keep a low profile tonight, sir. Trust me. I'll take out those assassins before they even know I'm there. It's not just that. If some curious child looks out to see who's pattering across their rooftop, they'll expect Santa Claus, not a black-clad bat creature. I don't patter. <sighs>
truth is, he owns half the force. Well, what about the ones he don't own? Those are Cobblepot's men. Damn. Are there any clean cops in Gotham? There are a couple. And it's our job to take them out. Looks like I'm the first one here. I need to find a spot where I can stake this place out unnoticed. Penguin. Not a dime changes hands in this city he can't tell you about. If anyone knows where Black Mask and his assassins are, it's him. But Penguin's hard to find. His men are doing a deal here. I'll make them talk. Guys! <laughs> So, little boys, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, wait, I already know. Now, let's see if you've been naughty or... Oh, ho, 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 ho. nice. I've been looking for a good... Yeah. 
Stop. Stop. Where's the penguin? I don't know. Where is he? I swear. <laughs> <laughs> 